is going on, bros and brodettes and brodarinos? Derek from Retro and New, and I'm back, baby. Last video, I was a little depressed, but I gave it some thought, talked to some people, let it all out, and you know what? Let me fix that camera. There it is. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do, but I can't let it get to me. Anyways, I'm not here to complain anymore. This is about something else, about another product. Two weeks ago, which was almost exactly the time I got scammed out of that booster box, I came across a advertisement on the local classifieds thing. Guy was putting up fossil booster packs for sale and I messaged him and I was like, yo dude, I, I didn't burp, but I was like, yo, dude, what up, man? I was like, let me buy your stuff, man. I'm like, please. I love Pokemon. And he was like, sure, man, let's meet up. And then he messages me back also saying, would you be interested in this? And that this was this. Yes. The mother of... Mothers. Actually, it's not the mother of mothers, but close enough. It is a super rare Pokemon TCG base set clamshell blister pack from Wizards of the Coast. This baby came out back in like 99, maybe even 2000. But he messaged me and I'm like, yo, what? <laughs> what? I didn't, I didn't ask him, you know, I was like, oh, that's pretty nice, man. And then furiously, I go on Twitter, Instagram, and I'm like, yo, dudes, I need some help. What is this that I'm looking at? Is this rare? What is it, you know? And the guy had it up for, well, he told me it was 500 bucks. So I was like, ooh, that's, that's kind of, you know, steep. I mean, it, you're going to be paying kind of market price for 10 packs that are in there. And I was like, do I really need them? Can I just buy them later? But, you know, it's in a sealed product, so it must be something else, you know? So I message everybody, and people are like, dude, holy freaking crap. I have no idea what it is. Jump on it. Get it. I message everybody. Pokeball from Queen City Gaming was the one who actually got me in contact with some people. He's like, dude, you need to message this person, this person. I'm going to ask around for you. So big shout out to him, because he got the ball rolling on asking people. But uh, yeah, no one else knew what this was. And yeah, the, the search began. Regardless, everyone was like, dude, you need to get that because obviously it's pretty rare, you know? No one has seen it. I was like, all right. So I messaged the, messaged the guy and I'm like, yo, will you do something a, a little lower? I was like, how about 400? He's like, nah, I'll do 450. I was like, all right, fine, you know? I didn't want to, you know, bug him and stuff. And then have him change his mind. This thing is huge though, but as you can see, this this came out when the theme, the first theme decks, not even like the, you know, the, the next ones are base set 2 or anything like that. Check that out, dudes. I remember this one. This one was my favorite. Well, it's amazing, right? And anyway, so I messaged a lot of people and stuff, and then finally, Pokeball got me in contact with Charlie from Luckin's Collectibles. He also has his own Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Charlie knows it. I'm gonna link it down in the description. Also Pokeball, cause they're just freaking huge shout outs. They're amazing. And this Charlie dude is freaking smart. He knows his Pokemon dude. But uh, I messaged him, he was like, all right, get, man, let me do my research and then I'll get back to you. He's like, all right, cool, man. And uh, he came back to me and it, it makes sense what this is. What he says this is, is pretty much that it, it's early product, obviously, from Wizards of the Coast. But this was before they they got it, Pokemon got its structured uh, products, you know. Now we have booster packs, we have uh, blister packs, and we have booster boxes. So that's pretty much it, you know, and then there's boxes, that kind of thing. Pretty much what this was though, it was like a box, you know, like now we have GX's, you know, cards in them and stuff, but this was the basic 
first box, you know, with multiple cards in there. It's not the, you know, blister pack as we know today, but it was kind of a hybrid of both, a blister pack and a box. But it came with 10 cards, and according to Charlie, you know, this uh, Wizards of the Coast, they uh, made a bunch of products like this, just stuff that, that didn't really have a specific... Uh, demographic you know it was like who is the audience um you know you put 10 packs together i i you know i don't know what the msrp was for this but i'm assuming it was you know probably 30 bucks or something maybe maybe even more you know um but but yeah they, they pack 10 packs together 10 basic packs and then there's three of each what is that nine Six, three of each, and then one extra Venusaur in the back. But obviously, this was just something they came up with and just stopped doing it all together. Never really picked up because people would either get booster packs, blister packs, or the booster box. There was really nothing, you know, no one that was like, oh crap, 10 packs for this price, whatever it was going for. You know, it was either, it was right in between, so it was kind of a vague demographic um but i was so excited when it came up and that people were like dude that is so rare like the last time i seen this go for on ebay was years ago and i was like holy crap i finally have something that not a lot of people have and as a collector yeah it's kind of freaking awesome man because you know you, you get for example like this tamagotchi right which, by the way, freaking died. <laughs> Future kids, this is not an example of what will happen to you. But anyways, you know, a Tamagotchi. Everybody has Tamagotchis, but I still like to collect them. But if you get, like, the original eggshell Tamagotchi from Japan or something like that, it makes it that much more collectible. And as a collector, it just jingles your bells in a way. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. But yeah. There it is. 10 base set packs. Got it for 450. And according to my sources, I can easily, easily resell this from anywhere between 700 to $1,000. Of course, the value is in the eye of the buyer. It's only worth that much if the buyer's willing to spend that much. Would I spend that much for this if it was overpriced over what I paid for? Probably not. Doesn't mean I don't want it any less, it's just, you know, you get 10 packs and I don't have that much money. But, <laughs> it was an amazing treasure find. And I just wanted to share that with you guys, because it's incredible. It's in And it's huge. That's the thing, it's so huge, it's big, like, holy crap. And according to Charlie, these must have been sold in retail stores, you know, this isn't something you found at the gas station, you know, when they were selling packs back then. This is just something uh, that they had probably like in Walmart or Sears or something. And then it just never really picked up. And here it is. Here it is today. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to link Charlie's pages down there, man. He's amazing. He also runs. He's a U.S. representative for Luckins Collectibles. They do all sorts of services. PSA is the biggest one. Um... But yeah, I'm gonna link it. Pokeball from Queen City Gaming, thank you so much, man. He was the first one who was like, dude, you need to jump on this ASAP and then just DM me with like all his knowledge about that. And <laughs> probably without those two, this video would not have been possible. And also other people, thank you so much for everything. But you know, I just got scammed out of a booster box, but this, this makes it okay. I, I'm not excusing for it, but I don't feel so bad, you know, like at least it could have been worse, I guess But uh, Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys like this video. So thank you guys so much for watching This is Eric from Retro New. I'm gonna catch you guys real soon